Okay, we've got both piston rings on the piston itself. Got the gudgeon pin. Yeah, a small amount of oil now. Okay, just pop a little bit of oil down onto the onto the bores. Okay. Um, pop the so pop the uh, wrist pin in. Okay, you see that's a nice fit. At this stage, you will take the opportunity to pop a little bit of oil down onto the mains, down through the oil feed holes. A couple of drops in there. Okay, and some oil on the big, couple of drops on the big end. Uh, a couple of drops on the small end bearing as well. There you go, it's all nice little bit of Pop that in. Yeah. Pop a piece of A4 paper, fold it in half there, that's just to stop the piston getting scratched. Okay, so we take the piston as such. That and that should just put it very straight. There we go, that should just pop straight into there. There we go. Um, insert the circlet, same way we showed you last, and that completes the piston installation. Okay. Um, on the last video we showed you how to assemble the piston um, onto the conrod there, uh, but we've got the circlip pin now uh, and we're ready to assemble the cylinder onto the crankcase. Um, so we've got everything prepared here, ready to do that. So what we need to do next is we need to take the heat cylinder and again we're going to use a rotor seal take a small amount of rotor seal and place it. The idea is we just want to, again, just to rubberize the face of the gasket. We don't want this material getting all over the place. Just dab it equally and then we can spread that out. Okay. Now to get into the corners you can use something similar to this and just get that right up into the corners. Okay, so we've uh, applied this nice and evenly. Okay, take a couple of drops of oil. You don't need too much here. Like that. Like that. We don't want this oil getting everywhere and contaminating the surfaces where we've just applied the rotor seal, so just be careful. Okay, now we don't put any lube on the piston at this stage because the last thing you want to do is get thing, get oil all over the place. So keep this, keep this dry. Locate the uh, piston rings into the grooves. Remove that. Okay. Just compress the rings down. Give it a little wiggle as you go. You should just. So we're going to get it about, so we'll get, once we have the rings located, we just pull it back a little bit and then that allows us to apply some oil down onto the piston rings and this will, this will run down the sides for a couple of drops all over the piston now. Okay, we've spread that around the skirt. What we need to do here is apply a small amount of rotor seal, just a little bit extra, just to the actual joint itself. There's three joints, so we apply three small spots. Okay. Continue to wiggle that down into position. Wind the 
Find it down so it's just off top of the centre. Okay. Just check that. Okay. Next, um, attach in the head. Apply the O-rings. Pop the uh, spark plug one on first. Hook it into one corner. Follow it round. It's just pop in there, lovely. Okay, so take some contact cleaner, the back face and the sunder head, quick skirt, squirt. Okay, apply the o-ring, just pop that in there, don't twist it, just drop it straight in, I should just drop in there. Okay. Again, we apply a small amount of rotor seal. Again, we're just rubberizing the face here, so we don't want to put too much on. Right, cool. Okay, so uh, make sure you've got a nice, even coating. Before we proceed, we need to fit the, the, the uh, locator dowels. Now, the locator dowels serve the purpose of centralising the cylinder head combustion chamber central to the bore so you don't get any overlap of the mating face into the bore itself. Okay, so here we have the dowels. We pop those into place, give them a wiggle, and they should just drop in. Okay, pop that onto the studs. Okay. Apply the nuts. Now we want to top this down in two or three stages. So we'll set the set the torque wrench firstly to five pounds foot. Okay, and we'll, we'll talk these down to five pounds. Okay, five pounds foot. Again, in diagonal fashion. And you should be able to hear that kick in. And then ram that up to 10. Then 15. The idea of doing this is it pulls everything down nice and evenly. Oh, distorts in the head. And finally, we want to finish off at 20. Okay, that concludes that. Now, in the next video, we're going to show you how to check the squish cleaner. Okay, there's two ways to do this. Um, one is to bend the solder at 90 degrees and pop it down through the spark plug hole. The other one is to lay a straight piece of solder across the top of the piston before you put the head on and dab it on with a piece of uh, blue tack or whatever in the middle. Um, the idea is, the, the two different thoughts on this is that if you do it, if you do it this way, where you have a piece of solder on the inside, you'll get a much more accurate reading because the idea you don't get any piston rock and it will contact exactly the same two points, but the clearances will be smaller doing it that way. The other way to do it is to allow for this and to do it from one side with a 90 degree piece of solder. So we'll just pop that in there, make sure you're up against the cylinder wall, rotate up to top dead centre, and just feel that come up and flatten the solder. We then take that solder and read that with a vernier gauge. 
the idea is you need that to be anywhere between 0.9 and 1.2. Now that sounds quite a big tolerance for, for the two uh, clearances. So the idea is you need to sort of try and aim that at one mil. If you can get one mil, then that's the ideal. But if you're anywhere in between that, you should be fine. If you if you uh, if you're outside those tolerances, then you'll need to use the base gaskets that are provided in the kit in order to achieve that result.